At the turn of the 21st century, we have witnessed unprecedented technological developments. Autonomous driving, renewable energy, smart devices, a revolution in medical technology. What to expect of the future? Whether we send robots into space, whether we look deep into our bodies, wherever we look, we will retrieve enormous amounts of data and we will need to transmit information ever faster and more efficiently. Every information transfer takes place across interfaces. And the more miniaturization proceeds, the more crucial interface phenomena become. And even more than that, by understanding and mastering the interface, we can open up completely new and unimagined possibilities. At the Collaborative Research Center on Internal Interfaces in Marburg, 80 scientists from Marburg, Gießen, Münster and Jülich have come together to explore this uncharted territory. We have chemists, we have physicists, and in both fields we have a wide range of specialists. That pushes you. You want to keep up with what the others are doing. You consider questions you would normally not think of. As a scientist, you always want to discover and develop things that can actually help the world in one way or another. It is a material scientist's dream to combine conventional silicon-based semiconductor technology with the almost limitless possibilities of organic chemistry. All it takes to realize it is a reliable anchor. The surface of silicon is so reactive that impacting molecules react in a variety of orientations. The result is a chaotic surface useless for technical applications. SFB researchers have discovered how to use a class of substances that solve these problems. Cyclooctynes have a unique structure that is prepared to bond firmly to the silicon surface upon contact. Even if the cyclooctyne hits the surface with the wrong side, all other bonds remain intact. So, for the first time, a basis can be created for the controlled docking of additional organic substances with properties on demand for future developments. Smartphones are already taking advantage of organic light-emitting diodes. However, deep inside, at the metallic contacts, at the interface to organic matter, they still suffer from significant losses. And the losses don't just affect the display. This organic molecule could form part of a future high-performance sensor, for example. By absorbing a quantum of light, the molecule jumps into an excited state. Our goal is to direct the excited electron into the metal as quickly as possible before it is lost or recombined into a flash of light. The researchers at SFB have discovered a new interface state that considerably accelerates this transition by an entire order of magnitude. Here, the electrons from our sensor jump into the metal at high speed and in this way become usable as signals. How will we generate tomorrow's energy? One possible answer lies in organic solar cells, which are also based on interface properties. On the way to achieving this development, SFB scientists have succeeded in altering the emission of light simply by realigning crystal layers. The same interface effect can be exploited to create nanometer-sized lasers, which will open up new transmission ranges for fiber-optic communication. For this purpose, the semiconductor structures must be grown with extremely high precision. If even one atom in a million is wrong, then the laser process will break down. At first, interfaces seem to consist of nothing more than the juxtaposition of two layers. But a closer look reveals that this is the place where the functions of devices are realized. And it is only through close cooperation between various disciplines through teamwork 
that this new field can be explored, that new, seemingly paradoxical effects can be discovered, discovered and customized to address our needs of tomorrow. When you're about to make new discoveries, that is something that I'm really passionate about. Those are the days when you're eager to get to work and when you don't want to go home.